What's going on? Rohan Dhawan here and in this video, you'll be learning how to use AI to actually get better leads for your business. This means that if you are struggling with lead quality issues or you're probably not able to attract your ideal clients, then this video will help you and it will show you how you can use AI as well as automation in order to get better quality leads. Now, if I was you, I would stay till the end because the tool that I'll be sharing with you and this prompt that you see in front of your screen would allow you to get higher quality leads just by writing two or three lines. Isn't that amazing? Well, let's get into the video and let me show you exactly how you can do that. Now, the tools that you'll be requiring for this would be chat GPT. That's of course the fantastic tool that we'll be using. The second thing that you do require for this would be an application form, right? Now, here's the thing, right? A lot of people get several different th uh, kind of leads every single day. But the problem is it's very difficult to identify which one is quality and which one is not quality. Let's just assume you own a local business like, let's say, a gym. And every single day you are running advertisement or maybe you're promoting your gym and you're getting thousands and thousands of leads coming to your inbox every single month. Unfortunately, it's very difficult for you to figure out which one is good and which one is not. As a result, when your sales team probably calls these leads, what ends up happening is they might end up spending a lot of time talking to tire kicker leads or people with not sufficient funds to be able to pay for your valuable advice and services. As a result, the efficiency of the sales team reduces significantly. And guess what? Your business doesn't grow because you're talking to leads who are just not qualified. So what I like to do is, you know, in addition to having chat GPT, uh, the next thing you would like probably have to have on your website would be maybe some sort of form that would allow people to, you know, basically enter their information before they get in contact with you. Now, this is very, very easy to create. Uh, the scheduling staff, a software that we actually use to create a form like this is called as Calendly.com. If you don't want to use Calendly, you can use Google Forms, that is a free version, or you can use Typeform, which is a paid version, or you can just go to Google and just type forms and then basically figure out which is the best form software for your business, put it on your website and allow people to actually fill in their important information over here. It's very critical that you do this. Now, through this information, you will now get a lot of insights. Now, once you have a lot of insights coming in, you'll be able to filter out which lead is quality and which one is not quality. Isn't that amazing? Well, yes, it is amazing, but the problem comes when you have a lot of leads coming in every single day, who's going to sit down and manually study which you know kind of application is actually good and which one is not. So keeping that into mind, I've created these three prompts that you can actually use right now in order to figure out which application is good. And uh, you can basically use automation to understand that. And as a result, make your grading process a lot simpler. So let's get into exactly how this is going to work, right? So prompt number one is this, right? So I'm just like, you don't even need to necessarily read this. Now, the key thing that you must take into account over here is that I've written that you will be provided with nine parameters that you'll be providing a score on a scale of one to four. Now, the reason why I have written nine parameters is because I generally have nine parameters that I'll be using to scale a specific lead, right? So as you can see over here, there are nine parameters, right? Now, in case in your form that you are creating, you do not have nine parameters, then just make sure that you, you know, replace this with that number of parameters that you have. For example, if in your form, you only have four questions and you just need to assess somebody based on four questions, then all you need to do is change this number nine to actually four, right? So make sure that the questions that you are putting in this form are relevant to your business and it allows you to figure out who your ideal client is. For example, over here in my form, I'm asking questions like, what is your current monthly income? What is your desired monthly income? Now, let's say that you are a fitness coach. Chances are that you might want to ask somebody, what's your current height and weight? What is your desired weight? like maybe you are into dating right maybe you want to ask people like how many number of dates are you currently going on and what's the desired number of dates that you actually want to go on so these are some questions that you might have to adjust so just keep that in mind based on your business right so what i'll do is i'll just take this prompt i'll just copy it go to chat gpt and just paste it and guess what chat gpt will now turn into a data analyst which will allow me to basically you know create my applications on an automation basis right 
Now, once I've done that, what I can do is I'll have to write this prompt number two. Now over here, you can see the parameter first that I've defined is social media. Now for me, what I've done is basically I've taken scoring from one to four and I'm telling chat GPT that, hey, if somebody submits like no social media profile, when they're submitting a form to me, then mark that as unqualified because I don't want to talk to a robot, right? But on the other hand, if they do mention that they have a social media present uh, link present, then of course, you know, like you can mark them as the best, right? Probably I would, would remove these two, right? And then parameter two, right? Target audience. So one, now this example that you see over here, I've taken this for a digital marketing agency that might be serving, let's say dentists as a client and helping them get more patients, right? So what I've done is I've taken parameter two into account, which is called as target audience. Now, if I'm running a digital marketing agency, there might be certain people that I want to work with and certain people that I do not want to work with, right? So the unqualified people might be non-dentist healthcare professionals. So, you know, let's say if I'm exclusively working with dentists, then I don't want anybody else who is not a dentist or let's say any non-US dentist, somebody who might not live in United States of America, if I'm targeting only dentists in United States. And then OK would be, you know, somebody who recently started a new dental practice or somebody with a small solo dental practice, right? Now you can pause this video and read this if you want. Uh, but if I have to be completely honest with you, I just went to chat GPT to, you know, come up with like these random options. Like I literally said, if I were a digital marketing agency and I was targeting dentists in the United States as a client, give me a list of, list of people that I should target my ideal clients by their demographics and psychographics. Also explain the people, the clients that I should not target. Divide the same into four categories where one being unqualified client that I should not target and four being the best category dentist that I should target, right? So this just made a lot like my jobs like super easy and I just took that information and I pasted it over here. So the best ones or the people that might score four would be established multi-location dental practices or specialized dental clinics, right? So chat GPT did this job for me. Parameter number three might be if they are making under $5,000 unqualified. If they're making above $100,000, very qualified. Target revenue, if they are aiming to make under $100,000, probably unqualified. If they want to make above $300,000, well, guess what? They have the money to change. And then the parameter for blocker might be somebody who is unqualified, in my opinion, might be that they don't realize that they have a problem. Maybe they're exploding. Maybe they just need some help starting out or maybe just like they want to make money fast. Whereas four or the best might be they have a painful problem. They are already online. They need more implant patients for their dental business consistently on automation basis, right? and then already tried fixing problem by themselves by hiring other marketing agencies, right? And in terms of budget, like money is a constraint for them, this would be something like which makes them unqualified. But if they have plenty of cash to grow in their business, then of course they are the fourth or the best. And then parameter seven might be, sorry, urgency. This means that if they need more than 90 days to actually get started, like, and they're not sure, then they are kind of like unqualified. Whereas if they can do it right now and they are willing to actually get started right now, then this means that it's urgent and this means they're open to do that right now. In terms of timeline, right? This means will they actually show up to the call? This is like the last question that we ask people. Are you 100% confirm that you'll be available for this call? And um, if they mark no, then unqualified. Whereas if they say yes, then very good, right? And then the final parameter would be the answer quality. Like, did they actually take out the time to fill out the form or they just did that in a rush, right? Over here, you will check the thing. So this basically means if they give you a vague and unclear answer, then unqualified. Whereas if they give you a detailed and clear answer, they are very qualified. So do you understand if uh, the next thing that we are telling chat GPT is do you understand if you would be able to provide a score between all nine parameters, you need to provide then a final score average score of all the nine parameters by starting the application that I'll be providing now. So this is the prompt you can literally copy it and like adjust it based on your, you know, business. Now again, you know, let's say you're a health coach and you're targeting, let's say, you know, male IT professionals in their 40 living in Bangalore. So your qualification factors for the target audience might be different and you need to specify that accordingly. So just replace these fields with your target audience and you'll be good to go. So anyway, without waiting anymore, let's just go over here, right? And then just paste this command number two. And then ChatGPT says that yes, it understands. 
now it's time to basically give it you know the the prompt number three right so over here we are saying please provide a score between one to four by taking the average of all nine parameters mentioned earlier now over here we are specifying an application now this is a sample application that i've just created randomly of a dentist wanting to grow their business so now chat gpt will basically qualify this application now i'm going to show you two examples one would be of a good quality application that we'll be submitting and then the other example that i'll be showing you would be of a bad quality application that we'll be submitting so let's try our both right first let's do it with the good quality one and hopefully we are hoping that this application might get a score above three or four let's see so hit enter based on the information provided damn this is pretty accurate as you can see so it gives me and kaboom i told you it'll give you like a pretty good score which is around three now let's try it for let's say a bad quality lead right now my hope is if our algorithm works like the way we have planned it might give us a lead score of let's say two which means that if this score two probably we'll have to call them and qualify them if they score three or four we'll approve them whereas if they score one we'll cancel them so let's see what how much this bad quality one in our opinion scores right by the way it's going to give you like reasoning as well right 1.67 so based on the average score 1.67 this application can be considered as cancel very good they have low scores across most parameters indicating that they are not suitable fit for your coaching services so by using this literally i can determine which application that i'm getting or which lead that i'm getting is actually qualified to talk to me so that i can save the time of my sales team and actually make sure that they're talking to the most qualified people now here's something more interesting that you can do now if you go to chat gpt and you literally get a paid plan of their software like literally if you click on upgrade to plus and then you go to a website called as zapier.com right you can set up an integration between your form software like let's say in calendly in this case and this chat gpt to give you the scores automatically so just to give you an example here's what you can see this is the application that we got on our slack channel and as you can see just under ai grading it automatically says unqualified and cancelled by providing a score on its own just think about how crazy that is now of course this is using the you know prompts that we have provided to it and you can of course adjust your prompts accordingly but this is how it works and trust me you know when you utilize it your life just becomes super simple so that being said ladies and gentlemen that's how you can use ai to grade applications get better quality leads and make sure that your sales team is closing more deals by talking to the right kind of people if you like videos like such what i would highly recommend doing is like comment and subscribe it'll support the algorithm and hopefully more and more people can check out videos like this and also so if you want this document right i'm gonna pin this up in the first comment right before i actually share this document i want to make sure that i get enough engagement on this video if this video hits more than 40 likes right i will make sure that i put this document in the first pin right so go check that out and like this video and my name is rohan dhawan i'm the ceo and founder of uability which is an education consulting firm that helps entrepreneurs like yourself get high ticket clients all over the globe using awesome technology like ai and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.